happy to make your acquaintance. Thank you so much. I feel fine. Happy to make your acquaintance. And let me say the pleasure is mine. How do you do? Please to know you. of my tour happy to make your acquaintance now won't you please say likewise I'm sure meeting you today has given me a wonderful idea It's a funny thing, I look at you, I get a thrill, I never knew, isn't it a pity, we never met before. Here we are at last, it's like a dream. The two of us, a perfect team. Isn't it a pity we never met before? Imagine all the lonely years we've wasted. You were the neighbors, I the silly neighbors. What joys I'm tasting. Happiest of all, I'm sure to be, if only you will say to me, it's an awful pity. I was going to be and every boy salam salot but now that I am more mature and know my way about I don't believe in little more for I have found out most gentlemen don't like love they just like to kick it around <laughs> most gentlemen can't take love because most gentlemen can't be profound as madame sappho in some song it said a slap and a tickle is all that the pickle male ever has in his head for most gentlemen don't like love i've been in love so i know what i'm talking about they just like to kick it around when I place my arms around you sweetheart when I tell to you my tale of love of the future which now lies before us far brighter than the skies above do not think it just an idle fancy For all the world a lover loves, you know Tis true mankind is fickle, still I love you Come tell me what's your answer, yes 
I've been talking a lot about the various composers of the songs that we've been performing tonight. Well, this group of songs was written by my great uncle, Paul Dresser. Paul was born Paul Dreiser in Terre Haute, Indiana in 1858. He was the eldest of the Dreiser clan, the two youngest being uh, my great uncle Theodore and my grandfather Edward. Now Paul Americanized the Dreiser name, he changed it to Dresser, and my grandfather did too for a while while he was performing it as an actor. Uh, but Theodore didn't, he kept the Dreiser and uh, he went on to uh, write such novels as An American Tragedy and Sister Carrie. And, um, but you know, Paul's big peak really was between 1895 and 1900, when he was really considered to be one of the most successful composers of American popular music. We shall stroll by the Hudson, the great mighty river, the Hudson, majestic and grand, with its crooks and its bends, as it silently wends its ways mid the streams of the master's hand. But a voice cries aloud, the Hudson. Then in 1970, Paul Dresser was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame many years after he died. He died in 1906. And I suspect it was largely due to this song. From my Indiana homestead wave the cornfields In the distance loom the woodlands clear Times my thoughts revert to scenes of childhood where I first received my lessons in nature's school. But one thing there is missing in the picture. Without her face, it seems so incomplete. I long to see my mother in the doorway as she stood there years ago her child to greet oh the moonlight's fair tonight along the wabash from the field Little 
New York Town.